What happened to us? Well, we got caught, but apparently we got stuffed in a sack and set on a hook. Hopefully we're okay, though. I mean, we have to- Oh, we have to be- a We're wiggling around. Careful, you're gonna fall! I said careful! Hang on! Hang on! No! Uh, oh, bag's tearing. Hold on! Oh, <laughs> don't worry. The hard metal pipe cushioned our fall. Oh! And then the plank. <laughs> Ouch! Well, we're dead now. Time to start over. New life. Oh, nope, the gnomes are here. <laughs> let, let the nightmare commence. Guys, will you help me? You, the gnomes seem pretty carefree and fun to be around. They don't seem like they're going to hurt me all that much. So I'm not going to worry about them too much. I am going to worry about them a little bit, though, because, ooh, boy, do they creep me out sometimes. Do I still have my flashlight? I do. Hello, gnome friend. Can I give you... Oh. No hugs, apparently. These ones don't love physical affection of any sort. I... Hey. Hey, buddy. Oh. Never mind. Sorry. The flashlight's probably too bright for you, huh? I get it. You've been holed up in this dark place for far too long. What is happening here? Oh. No, come back. Come back. Is that a plate with charcoal on it? Guys, don't eat charcoal. Charcoal's not good for you. It will, like, sand down your teeth or something. Hug? Nope. Come here. Hug. <laughs> come here. Hug. No. Come here. Come here, little guy. <laughs> hey. Hug. Oh, yeah. We can give them hugs. Oh, there you go. You're doing okay. Now help me push. Or... Or pull? While carrying object, throw it. Oh my god, I have to throw the gnome! <gasps> Absolutely I'll throw the gnome. Hey buddy! <laughs> go get the go get the handle. Come on! <laughs> yeah! Thanks, friend! Come here, I'll grab you. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Come here! Drop! I got ya! Or don't, whatever. You can stay up there. Ah, thanks! <laughs> That's my friend! Oh, this is like Pikmin, where I have all of my little friends that do things for me. Oh, buddy, I need you. Oh, do you need help? This is really clever. I can help my friend. Go on. Oh, <laughs> go on up there. Or maybe we go around. Maybe it's as simple as I just need to kind of get a nice running throw. Uh, yeah. Oh, I did. I can kind of throw them out instead of up. That makes sense now i think it's kind of cool that everything's so interactive and we kind of have a friend without having a friend now hey come here uh, or or you can drop down i guess come on buddy oh there's the other one hang on oh, oh i thought they were gonna get god oh i felt i was gonna be so sad if my gnome friend got crushed i don't know what i would have done Oh, they're helping me push, too! Oh, the gnomes are actually really friendly and helpful. That's so cool and clever. Really weird drawings, though. Are the gnomes the ones drawing those? I didn't even think about that. It actually might be the gnomes doing it. Now, what I'm worried about is... I tend to go to very dangerous places. And very dangerous places are not good for my little gnome friends because... Oh! Hi! Come back here! Come back! <laughs> there you are! Oh, I'm just collecting my gnome friends at this point. That's so cool. Can I... Oh, maybe if I throw you guys up there... Can you grab a hold? Grab! Yeah! Go, go, go! Go help your friend! Between the two of you, you should be able to go do it. Oh, you're gonna push it down for me! This is so well done. I am loving this. Now, knowing this game, and knowing how it plays, and how things pan out, our little gnome friends are probably not long for this world, unfortunately. Because maybe it's a little cynical to think this way, but... This game has proven time and time again. It's not afraid to 
get you attached to something so sweet and innocent and fun and loving and helpful and take it all away. So I am not going to get emotionally attached to these little gnome guys, unfortunately. Okay, guys. Don't stand underneath this chute. Just stand there. Be good. No, stay... Stay out. Just... Stay out. Just move. Move, please! Do not crush these things. I will absolutely freak out if it crushes them. Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> I was worried, but I am not worried anymore. Guys... You do such a good job following me most of the time. Just come on. <laughs> Work out your pathing. Let's go. Over here. This way. Come on, little ones. I'm going to need all three of you. That one is so stuck. Come on! How can... They there they are. How can these gnomes be so clever and do so many awesome things? And then there's times that they just don't. Hey, there's another one. Hi! Hi! Are you one of the ones I need to hug? No? Oh. They all just want me to pull that. Okay, fine! You want me to pull it? I'll pull it. There you go, little gnomes. Now what? Oh. Oh, are you feeding the machine? Okay. I can lock coal in there. Oh. Hey. What? No, I... There should be another, uh, there's another container under there that I fall on, not fall down into the abyss. It should take me up in the air, unless it goes back and forth, which seems like a very counterproductive way to use a machine then. Okay, while you guys are doing that, I'm actually going to run over here and hop on this thing. You guys keep fueling the machine, and I'll keep going whatever direction it's supposed to be going in. I think I'm supposed to go, looks like, maybe to the top? I think I might be able to go to the top if I ride on this thing. And look, there is another shovel down there. Oh, maybe I don't ride it to the top? I am... Well, I'm not confused. I guess I just misunderstood what was happening. Oh, hang on. Hi. Let's get this out of the way. And go. And go. Yeah! Oh, the rats. The rats are back. Did that hurt? Am I? Oh, never mind. I'm not okay. Run! Run. So, I've been corrected. And I've been told that they can actually hear really well. They don't smell really well. Thank you so much for that. But that also means that it makes sense why they suddenly heard me breaking through the floor. Oh, and do they know that that portion of the floor is busted? I bet they do. Why is there a weird gnome with an eye on it back there? That's really strange. I guess I have to go up here. Good news is they're blind so they won't see the flashlight. So... I think as long as I tiptoe very cautiously, they won't be able to hear me. Nope. There is definitely, they can, they have some way to notice I'm here. Whether it's hearing or, or smell or something, they know right about where I am. I, I am almost confident that they, they, there's something that they do to know. Ooh, actually. Can I climb up here? Maybe I can. And then... Oh. Throw it over there. So, oh. Grab it. Yeah! Got it. Cool. So now that's on. Oh, so I can convince them. Maybe I can convince them to... Oh, wait, no. They have both their arms when we chop them off with the door later. So... It seems odd that this must be before we chop off their arm later. Do I have my friend here? I do. 
Do I throw it at the machine? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. They obviously turn the machine off, which is not good because I don't want them to turn the machine off. I want to use that machine. Okay. So far, so good. I'm making the assumption that they only hear me. And I'm making the assumption that they can't tell where I am as long as I stay off of the regular floorboards. So far, I'm making it a little bit further than I did before, so... Cool. Now that's super loud and obnoxious, so they won't be able to tell where anything is. Now I just need to get back there. Really fast. Because they're gonna feel around for the switch, but by that time, I will have already got this most of the way open. Before they make their way back. Right? Yeah, now go. And jump. Did I make it? I made it! Yes! Okay. Well, that answers that. So, it is true. Thank you so much for telling me. They they are hearing me. What is that thing? Hey! hey. Are you okay? Let's not. Let's not play with our friend there. Because I, as much as they seem very fun and very friendly... I just want to get myself out of here. Reach up. You can grab it. Let me go this way before I... What? Oh. Oh, they were just rats inside of a doll. I guess that's one way to bring it to life. Ooh, a friend. That's a gnome friend. Gnome friend. Hey, gnome friend. I'm going to help you, I think. Can you push yourself over? Push. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, come here. No, come back here. Get back here. There you are. Hey. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You're fine. Now, if I throw you up here, will you climb? No. Well, that's okay. But you can follow me, right? And down here, I can throw you up and you'll grab the ladder and then pull the ladder down for me. That's my goal. Let's hope if it, let's see if it works. Grab the ladder. Yeah, bring it down. Nice job, gnome friend. There's a big hug for you. Now, out of my way. If you want, you can follow me. If you don't want, then don't. But thank you for your help. Much appreciated. Now I need to figure out where I'm going from here because this is already going to be a pain, a, a big pain. This looks like a giant pain because I can either jump and go over here, uh, which is probably the way it wants me to go, or I could go through here, which is probably the way it doesn't want me to go, but I'm going to do it anyway because I am notorious for doing things that I'm not supposed to be doing in games. <laughs> so might as well keep the trend going. Now, what happens when I push this one? Because before... Huh. Why are they spying on the butcher area? Or I guess the wrapping area, where they wrap the kids up and then put them on the hooks. Are they eating children? I just thought about that. Are the butchers butchering children? Which are sent over? Maybe the children are harvested as a source of food. And they're raised until they get to a certain age. And that's what the this person does. They want the long arms. Maybe they raise the kids. So they get to the point where they can be butchered. Oh, I already hated this world enough as it is. I really hate it now if that's true. And again, I don't know. But think about it. Why else would they have these nurseries with kids that they shackle to the bed? And then they have pretty much nothing but meat that they eat. Oh. It feels so wrong. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm going to quit thinking about it because it just makes me feel disgusted and horrible inside for an already dreary world 
it kind of puts into perspective our little friend from before with the yellow raincoat. Uh, I forget their name. I think it's Six or something like that. It puts in perspective their actions and everything that they do. So, oh, actually, that's okay. We This actually makes sense. I can go up here because I can't go up the hill, but I can go over here. So even though there's things over there that I kind of was hoping for that I would find, maybe I don't actually have to go that way. Or maybe I have to go that way some other way. Hey, friend, can you fit under here? So maybe I have to come back for that friend later. That's going to be what I'm assuming I'm going to have to do. Oh, there's a little gnome friend down there. Looks like a couple of them. Guys? Is everything okay? Oh, okay. Now back. Now forward. Yeah. Oh, well that didn't work either. Excuse me, gnome friends. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get back here. Yeah. What I thought. Hey, come here. Yeah. Good. Let's get you out of here. Because I need your help. There you go. Wow, this is so cool and so clever. And now if I get this back over here, I can use my one gnome friend to go get my other gnome friend, and then I'll have two to help me with this. If I can aim this one, which I've never ever thought about aiming a friend in a specific direction, but apparently it applies here. Oh. So, that works. I think it just gives me a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more speed. Come here. Come here, you little guy. Where did you go? You're in here somewhere. Come here. Come here. Don't run from me. Don't run from your feelings. Oh, he hides in there, right? Or she, I don't know. I don't know what these gnomes are. They hide in there, and then they get shot out because... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're the one that helped me get out of this pit to begin with. You already want to be my friend. Now quit playing hard to get and get back here. No. L little gnome friend. I All I have to do is give you a hug, and you'll love me forever anyway, so stop. Okay, there. Now follow me. See? Look at that. It's not like they don't want to get caught. They just want the fun of running away from me. They might actually be playing. I keep forgetting. These are probably just children. And they're probably just playing. And this world, what little play they've got left is probably they should enjoy it. Because the more and more I learn about this world and the more and more I speculate about what's actually happening in this place... This place is terrifying, and I hate everything about it, and I would never want to live in a place like this. <sighs> never knowing when you might be just old enough to become food for everyone else. That's... Well, that's nature, but also that's scary. I'm glad I don't live out in nature. Let's go, guys. Gu guys. Uh, everybody, on board! I need your help pushing this thing. Ple please? Please? Why do they do this every once in a while? Come on! I just gotta grab one and the rest will follow, right? No? Well, at least those two are following. Now, come on! There's three. Come on! All three of you. Or don't. See if I care. You guys sit back there and watch as I do this on my own. With my own power! My sheer determination and my one friend who actually wants to help me. Come on! You know what? Look out of the way, friend. Let that roll the other ones over. Maybe next time they'll know to come help me. Come on! That. D do you see it? Now grab a hold, everybody. Everybody on board, let's go. There we go. Is that so hard? It's not. The answer is no. It's not that hard. They're making it a lot harder than it needs to be. Ah. <sighs> Good. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. It's just, you could have made it a lot easier for me and you by not making life difficult and actually helping me when I ask for help. 
course, I don't, I guess, really ask for help because I can't ask. Because I don't speak. Neither do my gnome friends. So I don't even know if they would understand me if I did speak. But still, they could at least attempt to help me in some way, shape, or form. There! How are we doing, guys? Is this going to work? Is this going to uh, do what we need it to do? I think it will. Everybody climb up now. Yeah, everybody on board. We're going for a ride. So everybody up there. Will you guys get up there? Climb up there. All I'm doing is bashing their head against the side of this. Climb up. Fine, don't climb up. See if I care. Goodbye, guys, because I am definitely getting this thing running, and then I am climbing up. So if you guys don't, that's your fault. I guess I'm just going off by myself. Goodbye, guys. See you later. Oh, wait, no, let's just push it. It's going to hit the door. <laughs> let's not go for a ride. There we go. Let it go. Yeah, see, that could have been us if I would have actually accomplished what I had planned on accomplishing. My friends were just way smarter than me, and they were just telling themselves, no, that's a dumb idea, and let's not do it. And, you know, I agree with them. It was a dumb idea, but I kind of still wanted to do it. <laughs> and it would have been really cool. You guys wait there, and I will return. Or, actually, I won't return. You'll find me, and you'll be back with me soon. Ladder, please. Ladder! This person is trying to get me killed. They're trying so hard to, to, to just drop from massive heights. Okay. Now I can grab this, and my friends are going to drop down. Hi, friends! Hey, missed you! Come on now, follow me. We're all going out here. You're going to feed this machine. And while you're feeding the machine, it's going to do something. Yeah, there you go. Everybody on board. Now something's going to happen. Ooh, this door is actually open. I kind of want to see what this does, though. Oh, hang on. This door being open is probably the... Oh, wait. It's not there yet. Okay, I have to go this way. The door being open means I have to go this way and find more little helpers. Come here! Whatever, you can stay in there. I'm going to pull my friend out of this one. <laughs> well, how did you get yourself stuck in here? Our, my little gnome friends get themselves in the weirdest spots. Now, hug them. Hug them before they run away. Hug them! Yeah. There. A nice little hug for you. Feel better? Yeah? Good. Awesome. Now you come out. Come here! I, I will tackle you if I must. Oh, good. We got it. The, the, the tackle is only the most aggressive hug. That's all. It's just a very aggressive hug. That's, that's it. The diving tackle being the most aggressive of the hugs. Now, what happens if I go over here? I'm assuming I need at least one more of my friends. Ouch. That hurt a lot. I actually hurt my bones in that situation. Not quite breaking, but boy, were they darn close. Huh. Well, I probably need this for something. Let's go figure out what. I... I hear something. I am... Not in love with what I'm hearing. Oh, it's my feet on the charcoal. Ah! Oh, no! Oh. Stop it! Oh. I have a feeling I need to get that fuse to the other side. That's what I'm going to do. That one. That was terrifying. That was scary. I had no idea they were in there. And there they are. Now run away. Yeah. Good. They're right there. I can hear them. I can't see them. This is the worst. It was bad before. This is really bad now. Run! Run really fast! Don't give up! No. Just grab the fuse. Hey, sneak. No! 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 Because I, I really, I didn't need to do anything. Oh, I do now, though. What is happening? 
got this. What? what? Climb these. Yes, thank you. Oh no, they heard the stairs! Just go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Just climb the stairs. Thank you. Oh. You can't reach up here, can you? You can't. There's no way. Those arms are too short, right? Oh, thank goodness. No way. Okay. I think I'm okay. Line up the shot and throw it. Good. Hold on. Definitely hurt me. Jump. Fly. Sneaky light. Oh. No. No. Grab. Grab it. No! What happened there? It bounced me off! It's like a rubber band! Rarely do I get frustrated with games, because I realize there's a lot going on. This section... <laughs> I'm a little frustrated. I'll be okay, I think. <laughs> I hope. As long as it plays nice on these next couple attempts at it, I will not lose my cool. But I am darn close. Yes. Quiet. Good. Quiet is good. Quiet is a mouse. Even quieter, even. Sometimes mice are really loud, depending on the situation. Okay. Now, the pitter-patter of my little feet. It'll be okay. Now, sprint. I, I want to get up the stairs as fast as I can. Because these stairs are really bouncy for no good reason. Because I have this fuse. Get up the bouncy stairs. Thank you. That is what I'm talking about. The rest of it is fine. It's fair. The bouncy stairs are not fair. The bouncy rope is not fair. I can handle a game as long as it's playing by its own rules. I cannot handle a game when it's not. Okay. <laughs> I, for some reason, it just it's, the frustration is like building, and I don't know why. That fuse is gone. You know what? Let's investigate. W what is up here? Let, let's see if I even have to go up here with this fuse, or if the fuse is just a red herring that I don't need. Let's get the lay of the land, if you will. And once I'm up here, where am I supposed to go from here? So I see little hands. Oh, I can just pull. Mm, I was making life a lot harder for myself, wasn't I? I absolutely... I can understand if people are frustrated with this one because I was frustrated with that. So I don't know what I was doing wrong. I mean, I do. I know what I was doing wrong. But it just it seemed pretty blatantly obvious where... Things are supposed to go. It still seems pretty obvious that this is supposed to go right here, and I'm supposed to climb this shelf. I can climb it. Can I open all of these cupboards? Maybe I can open all of them. Of course I can. It just so happens that only one of them has anything worth having in. Maybe this one has shelves. There we go. I figured it out. Sorry, everyone, for not... For not observing my surroundings and taking the lay of the land ahead of time, I guess that fuse is just supposed to happily sit down there until I can open up the door. Then I can go and grab the fuse. I didn't need to take it up and have the entire... Uh, the entire fabric of space and time bend around me in an attempt to make it so it's impossible for me to get the fuse up here. Well, if it's impossible for the fuse to go somewhere, I should have put it together that it's not supposed to go there. But, you know, <sighs> sometimes I have a bad habit of brute forcing things like that, where it looks right, so why not? Why not? Don't make me do it all over again, game. Don't make me. Thank you. Thank you. I, I changed my mind about this world. I thought this world in this game was the worst. It's not. There are moments, there are moments where it says, you know what, you've been through enough. <laughs> and it knew from that moment that I had been through enough.
that was going to let me just hop right back into where I was. And I appreciate it for that. Ooh, hey, look, another fuse. That's cool. Now, how do I get myself over into a position where I can have that? Climb. Now pull this one out. Yeah. Oh, and this one too? Thank you. Nice. That's very nice of you, game. I very much appreciate you. I didn't need to bring the fuse here. <laughs> I'm supposed to use this fuse and pull it back through the other way. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's understandable. I, I, it makes sense. It, it, honestly, the game was spelling it out for me. I should have realized that's exactly what it wanted the entire time. I, it, it was me. It, it's, it's me. It's definitely me. I'm the one being dumb. A absolutely 100%. It's me. It's definitely not complicated or convoluted and definitely not misrepresenting itself as a mission that it wasn't actually nope and it's why are they camping that one spot too good news is hopefully getting got will reset that fuse to where it was supposed to be and now i can kind of just take my one fuse so i should actually take the time to take a deep breath Re-establish my surroundings and execute on my goals. My one goal being not to get caught in any way, shape, or form. Move faster. There. I'm already through. And now I can just kind of go this way. I think as long as I keep moving at this rate, I'll be fine. I don't want to hit any charcoal, and I definitely don't want to sprint, apparently, because they're faster than me. Oh, except for here. Here I need to sprint. Here I need to crawl. Here I need to get in here. And look! The fuse is back where it needed to be! All that happened was I just blew the other fuse, so I'm just trying to replace the two. If this is all for, like, a collectible or something, okay. Nope, it's just... Three more gnome friends. Come here! Or don't. Run away. Just just make it the most difficult thing possible for me to figure this out. I appreciate you guys. They don't know any better. I, I'm taking it out on them. They don't know any better. And they don't know that I've been through a lot. And this is just torture now that they're running from me. They don't know. They couldn't know. It's impossible for them to know. Excuse me, though. Oh, two. Hey, come here. Uh, pick one. Target one. Come here. Yeah. No, I'm not playing Ring Around the Rosie. Come here. Come here. That must be terrifying to them. Everyone else is so fast. And then run and jump and grab. Yes. Oh, now that, that was a successful mission. We, we did what we came here to do. We found our three friends. You know what? Get down here. Go on. There. We did what we needed to do. We found our three friends. We hugged our three friends. Our three friends are actively following us, except for this one. Come on. Don't get stuck. And now, we're in a situation where... Okay. Go. Go on, guys. There you go. Awesome. Now, there you go. You guys can fall down to right there. Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to prop it open. Clever. I think. What? Did that work? I think that worked. I th think that's going to prop it open. Okay, guys. Come on down now. Yeah. There we are. Come on. Everybody through. Okay, we did it. That's cool. That one portion of the level, really frustrating. It didn't exactly make it clear exactly what I was trying to do with those fuses, but I can understand how it would be my fault to take the fuse all the way across the map, try to force it to do things that it wasn't supposed to do, 
in complete darkness while it was glowing and make the wild assumption that that was an accurate way to complete the mission. Definitely my fault. 100% my fault, I'm sure. I, I Okay, I'm being a little sarcastic and a little... <laughs> I'm still a little peeved, but it's okay. Things happen, and I need to understand that. So, I'm good. <laughs> oh, okay. Bye, guys. I guess we're leaving them. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for helping me to get out of here, but now you're stuck down here powering the machine that is this giant ship. Or maybe the steam power generator for the giant ship. I don't know which, but either way. Thank you! Goodbye, my gnome friends. The gnome aspect of that was really clever. The, ooh. Well, no, let's not. <laughs> Thanks. Boy. That's terrifying. Okay, let's go this way before anything else bad happens. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey, you. I guess I'm still following the gnomes. Come on. Where'd you go? Are you in here? You might be in here. Grab it. Pull. Oh. Are you? Oh, there you are. Hey, I need your help. Oh. Oh, hi, guys. Yeah, I need all your help. Can you help me pull? Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, there's quite a few. Pull? Yeah, pull. Oh, cool. Yeah, there you go. Now we can all get through. And hopefully nothing bad happens to any of you. Come, oh, hold on. Let me give you a big hug. There we go. Now we can go through. Come on, guys. We can do this. Oh. Well, look at there. It's just nice and warm. Oh, there's a lot of the little gnome people. That's so sweet, actually. Thanks, everybody, for all your help, and thank you. I'm assuming these are all my gnome friends from before, too. I'm assuming they just know their way around the ship now. Things are shaking like crazy. That's not a good sign. That's never a good sign. Oh. Is... This is an elevator. What am I... It's the lady. So we're going up to the restaurant area. There's the lady in the mask. Man, that's wild. But I guess we finished with this portion of the DLC. So I'm going to finish the last DLC in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. And remember to take care. And goodbye.